Hello Cancer, welcome to your February weekly general love read. This is for the end of February 2021. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon and leave comments down below. I love to interact with you guys. If the messages resonate, I do provide a link down below for the extended where I go a lot further into whoever shows up for you, whatever's going on in your life, whatever they may want to tell you, whatever they've been through, all kinds of good stuff. All right. And then also I'll provide the link to my website where if you would like a personal read from me, you can find me there. Plus, keep in mind on Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m., I do go live with my sister on her channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. We've gone twice now and it's been loads of fun. So please join us there. All right, let's do this. What's going on with my cancers and love? Where are you at, cancer? What's going on with you? What's your obstacle challenge? What advice do we have here? What's going on? Let's see what kind of guidance you have. One more shuffle for my cancer. What's going on with my cancer? <clears throat> what is going on for cancer this week? Give or take some time. You know how time works. Overall energy, the temperance, the right timing. This is good timing for you, okay? There's a balance. Possible perfect union coming in. Could be Sagittarian energy around you. Um, finally calming down. Maybe you have gotten through a situation and you're just finally being able to find a little peace. Peace of mind and things just seem like they're in order at the time. Or maybe you have a lot going on but you're juggling it nicely, okay? You're, you're just, you're kind of dancing through this nicely. We have the devil energy in reverse. Here you go. So it's releasing of some behaviors, addiction, obsessions, energies that don't serve you anymore. But being more at peace here this week. And I do have the eight of cups here in reverse. So somebody definitely could be coming back around for you to start a whole new beginning. I have the hanged man. So the two of you are definitely looking at things from a whole new perspective. And we have the moon energy. So this, the moon energy here with the queen of cups. So really thinking and remembering about how you felt about each other is, is really showing up here for you. And I'm taking all these cards because look at the queen of wands here too. Um, there may have been lack of messages in the past, but they're coming in for you. All right, I'm gonna do this because the read wants to come out like this. And today, every time I have a, a structure that I wanna follow, um, spirit says, nope, nope, nope. We're gonna do it my way, okay? So, alrighty, I love this. So there's a lot of peace happening right now. You're releasing a lot of stuff. You're releasing a lot of um, just weight off your shoulders that you do not need. You have too much going on around you, too much going on in life. And I get the feeling here that you're just at peace with whatever and you're taking things as they come, kind of going with the flow. And you're not stressing about things so much here. Um, I, somebody here, whether it's the both of you here, um, somebody's coming back around, definitely coming back around. And they want a whole new beginning here. They've stepped out for a while. The two of you may have both decided to step out. But you see things clearly now from a new perspective and um, are wanting to come back in and share your feelings. We have the Queen of um, Cups here and we have the Moon here. So could be a Pisces or a Cancer you're connecting with. But this is definitely you too as well. Just Cancer, you're in your feelings and you really, I don't think you ever stopped thinking about this person and how much you care about this person. So I don't feel like this person is somebody that has been <clears throat> really, really bad influence on you or um you know a really a, a very um what's the word i'm looking for a, a abusive relationship or a hardcore relationship i just feel like the two of you couldn't get things together in the past because you have the queen of wands here and you have the um the queen of cups which is all about passion and feelings and that's what you think of when you think of this person this could be a same-sex relationship as well. Sometimes that wants to come out for me. Um, but either way, it does not have to be. Um, the two of you, though, are very, very um, passionate and emotionally attached to one another. And you're very loyal. You're very loyal to the situation. But something happened in the past. and um, But you two do not let go of the memories that you have with one another. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aries or a Sag that you're connecting with as well. But you're definitely wanting to nurture this situation. You, um, you know, may have been dreaming about this or thinking about this for some time, and it's 
it's actually because you're in this place over here of the temperance and the devil in reverse i feel like this is the time now you're ready and your person is too to come back in um in this energy you have the fool the hanged man the hanging man sorry and the moon and temperance here and the devil these are strong energies coming in for you so this is more about spirit and the universe really guiding this your higher self really speaking through in this message right here it's not um you know minor arcana talking about you know just fluctuating and just kind of um you know ego or anything like that is how i look at it this is really being guided by your spirit your higher self okay this relationship all right so how do i want to move forward here now all right what is the obstacle or challenge here the six of wands and the wheel of fortune okay so maybe in the past things didn't go in your the way you wanted the two of you didn't show up for one another and um you didn't make each other a priority all right you didn't get the attention that you wanted from this person and just things didn't move in the direction that that you wanted to um it may have just been the wrong place wrong time and something could have happened in the past that just kind of took the two of you out of nowhere and it made it so that this relationship just just stopped it just didn't go anywhere it just didn't move right it wasn't faded at the time it wasn't the time wasn't right which is also my temperance card is the time is right so this is divine timing and the divine timing is now um, because you've released all this other other energies all right so what happened let's clarify what happened in the past here we have the king of cups the strength card the, and the two of swords and what else do we have here we have the king of wands we have the six of cups okay so it looks as though it looks as though it could have been with a leo could have been with scorpio cancer pisces but um one of you really had a lot of feelings or were showing your feelings in this relationship one of you knew this is what you wanted and it was a strong bond strong connection very strong connection but the other person here may have been either controlling jealous um not ready immature um didn't have everything in order in their life or just had a bad temper and a fight could have happened here that um broke the two of you up and at the time um it was enough that you weren't speaking and it caused the split up could have been i don't see third party here i get ten of wands a lot of burdens your person here in the past had a lot of burdens on their shoulders and just lost control and maybe lost their temper and walked out because they didn't want to handle the responsibility at the time and so they shut off their feelings and they walked away from this but you if this is you on this side now remember it can be reversed here you you wanted this you knew right from the beginning you had strong feelings for this person you were willing to work on this relationship no matter what but somebody walked away from you they walked away from you because they couldn't handle their burdens okay um what what should you do here the knight of cups here so when this person comes back around opening up your heart and just starting fresh and sort of wearing your heart on your sleeves and not hiding the way you truly feel about this person maybe in the past you you hid the way you felt and you weren't being clear about the way you felt but this time around this is talking about you really opening up and wearing your heart on your sleeve and letting this person know how you feel right from the get-go and not letting not hiding how you truly feel because sometimes cancers when you're hurt from the past you may still walk into the relationship the new the new start um still protected and and guarded and hiding all right but this is saying take action and show your feelings be open about your feelings and be truthful about your feelings even if that means being truthful about how it made you feel but saying it in a way that it comes from the heart and love not from a place of anger or resentment 
All right, this is your advice there. What do you need to know? All right, the Ten of Swords. There's been a completion and a recovery. So this person had a lot of burdens on their back here, but it's almost like they got over it and they, they've healed from this and they want to, look at the Empress card, nurture this relationship, come back. They've recovered from whatever happened in the past and now they're coming back in and they're offering... Um, love to you the empress is new love a new version of love they want to start over the fool card here they want to start over and look at eight of pentacles progress make it work all right let me clarify some of these cards because the spread just wanted to come out like this <laughs> all right let's clarify this for cancer they had too much on their shoulders in the past they may not have let you know but their inability to handle what was going on in their life is what made it so that they couldn't show up for you and give you the attention that you wanted. And I feel like something could have happened in their life that caused this um, wheel of fortune here. Um, this, this, this turn of events that didn't turn out in your favor. All right. All right, so let's clarify that. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse here, so definitely coming back in and not wanting to, um, letting you know that they know your worth here. They know what you're worth here, the energy around, around you, okay? So clarifying this, the Six of Cups, all right? Reconciliation. Um, really thinking about, they're really thinking about what happened here in the past and they can't stop thinking about how, what may have happened that made them feel, made this happen. Page of Swords in reverse. So maybe some very insincere, they may have um, striked out at you because of the burdens that were on them. Okay, they may have said some things that were um, insincere, 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 right? Um, they may have been, I don't want to say that they were, um, you know, lurking or talking or, or, or um, I'm getting maybe being too overly protective too and watching over your stuff and controlling you as well too and, and watching in every move you make and everybody you talk to um, that could have brought on this jealousy with this king of wands in reverse. I, d I still don't feel like it's a third party, and I was going to say that it could have been they were stalking, or, or, or I don't like the word stalking either. They were talking or maybe communicating with um, other people online in a negative way towards you, all right? But I also get that they may have been just not telling you how they feel about you in the past, and they may, really may have been closed off and not letting you know how they feel, and it eventually turned out into some sort of um, insincere, insincere words that were passed between the two of you um, that ended this relationship. All right. So let me see. Let me see how I want to do this. What can you see coming here in the near future? Seven of Cups in reverse. Them making a choice. Definitely making a choice. They're not confused anymore. And the Six of Wands here. So they're coming in to make this work. Um, they want to they wanna show up for you and give you attention. They're choosing you here. They're definitely choosing you here. All right, that's clear. How do you feel about this when they come in? Happy, the sun. You're so happy. This could be a Leo that's coming in for you. It could be a Taurus that's coming in for you. Um, I don't know. I just think in the past, um, they had so much on their shoulders and maybe they tried to have a relationship with you when they weren't ready and they knew it and they knew how um, loyal you were and how bonded and how much you cared for them. And while they were dealing with whatever was going on right here, they um, couldn't handle their feelings or your feelings towards them, the connection that you had. And so they ended it by being really rude or, or just insincere about their words towards you. But they're, they're coming back. They've made a choice. And you're happy about this. What is the potential outcome here? We have the wheel here. And we have the death card. Okay. So this is faded. And this is a new cycle. Okay, so whatever happened in the past is over and you have things turning in a, it's like it's transformed. Things are turning in a new direction. Okay, 
it's more arcana major arcana i don't know why i can't say that word today but it's strong energy here saying things are turning in your direction now and you can have a new start a new cycle things have transformed the two of you have changed you have you have come really far and this goes back to the fool card and the hanged man the two of you see things differently now and your person just sees things clearer now and you want this new beginning here with the um the fool card that's just that's just clear. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that at that. I'm gonna pull a couple of these cards right here and see what maybe happened in the past. But this is a new beginning and it's moving in your direction. They choose you. They choose you. They wanna work on this. They had too much going on in the past, but they wanna work on it now. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. There you go. All right. I think they know exactly what they want now. Relationship evolve into the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Okay. So your person definitely has had growth here and um, want to come back in. So focusing on self-work, always in shadow work, self-appreciation. <clears throat> All right. If you want to go into the extended, I'll take a closer look at your feelings, their feelings, and um, more advice and potential, uh, more potential outcomes of this and things that may have been going on with your person that you didn't know and things that you may need to deal with. Okay, if you want to go into the extended with me, I love you guys. I hope this message helps. Take care.